Hey there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make these colorful seed bead earrings. I'm showing them really easy and step by step and I'm sure you're going to be able to make them by yourself. If you have any questions, ask me anything in the comments. Thank to all of you that like, share and comment. This is a great and amazing support and I can't thank you enough for these actions guys. Check description for full list of materials, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials, mainly on my Facebook page. If you're new here, consider subscribing with the bell for more and more tutorials similar to this one. You might also want to support me in PayPal by becoming a member because a lot of work goes in these videos. Check the membership perks in description as well or at the join button. Thank you so much for watching. Now I'm going to start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using for this video are five colors of 11 0 seed beads, really dark blue color, white color, light blue color, middle blue color and pink color. Here I'm using earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0 0.006 inches so 0 0.15 millimeters. Uh, this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory but I use them to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an arm span of thread on my needle and I'll be back. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are 12 of these beautiful dark beads and I'm going to slide those down. I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is to make a knot. And I'm making my knot by making a loop and going twice through the loop I've made and I pull and then I'm going to make one more knot and pull again. Okay, now I have this. What I'm going to do next is go through the following two beads. And I'm going to take two white beads, a pink bead and two white beads. And as I'm exiting from this bead, I'm going, I'm skipping the next one and I'm going through the following. And I have this. I will repeat the same thing. Skip one and go through the following. And again. And again. Okay, and these are the last five beads that I have here. And I'm going in the first dark bead that I started the whole row from, which happens to be the last as well. Now I have this. In my next step, what I want to do is go through these two white beads in this direction. And I'm going to take a white bead, three light blue beads and a pink bead. And as I'm exiting here after the second white, I won't go through the pink, but I'll go through the following white with this sequence. Okay. And then I pull. Then I want to take just one dark bead and I'm going here in the second white. I take a white, three blue and a pink. Skip the central pink bead. Go here like that. 
a blue one go in the second white and take again a white three light blue and a pink and go here one dark and I will continue this guys until the end of this row the same sequence This is the last dark bead that I added and pay attention where I added at the second white bead counting from the center. Don't make the mistake to go through the third one. Okay, this is what I have now. Okay, and in my next step I'm going through the white and through the blue bead here and I'm taking five of those beautiful blue beads five of them and I skip the one that's sticking out the most and I go through the following then I take a pink a dark and a blue and I go in this blue here which is next to the one that is the central one and that is sticking out the most. I go through the first of the three blue that I have on my way. Maybe it's easier way to say this. Then I take five blue beads, skip the central one and go through the next one. Pink, dark, light blue. five blue beads skip the central and go through the next okay then again then five skip one and go through the following three again five skip one go through the following three five and three Now what I want to do guys is go through two blue beads in this direction and I'm taking a light blue, three dark blue and a light blue 
and I skip here the one that's sticking out the most, the central one, and I go through the next one. Then I take two blue beads and a pink bead and I go here in this pink and I also go through the dark bead and through the next and I pull. This is what I have now. Take three light pink beads and go here in the third blue bead counting from the center which is next to the one that is sticking out the most. And I take a light blue, three dark blue and a light blue like I did before. Skip one and go through the following. Two light blue beads and a pink go through the pink, through the dark and through the following blue three blue go in the third blue counting from the center light blue, three dark blue, light blue Skip one, go through the following. Two light blue and one pink. Three light blue. Go in the same place. Okay, and I will continue these guys until the end of this row. Okay, and don't worry that at this step your work bends a little bit, we'll fix it later. Okay, my friends, and in my next step what I want to do is go through two beads in this direction. Through the light blue and through the dark blue, I take a dark blue, three pinks and a dark blue. And I skip here the central one and go in the next dark blue. Now this is what I have. And I take a dark blue and two light blue beads and I go here in this light blue that is sticking out the most. Take just one dark blue bead and go in the light blue. Now I take two light blue beads and a dark blue and I go in the dark blue. Then I take a dark blue, three pink beads and a dark blue. Keep one and I go through the following. One dark blue, two white blue. 
and go in this blue that is sticking out the most. One dark blue bead. And go here in this one that is sticking out the most, which is the third blue counting from the white part in the center. Okay. Now you see how my work straightens up. This time I take two light blue beads and one dark because I want the dark blue beads to be next to the dark blue and the light blue beads to be next to the light blue. That is why when I'm climbing my petal I take two light blue beads and one dark and when I go to the center I take one dark and two white blue beads. Now I take a dark blue three pinks and a dark blue I skip one and I go through the following. Then a dark blue and two light blue pinks, uh, sorry, blue. A dark one. And I'm going to continue these guys until the end of this row. Two light blue, one dark blue, a dark blue, three pinks and a dark blue, one dark blue, two white blue beads and here connection is one dark bead. If you forget how I'm doing it, just rewind the video and repeat these steps here until the end and I'll meet you. And I'm here guys at almost my last step where I need to add a dark blue and two white blue beads. Then I need a dark blue. And two light blue and a dark and pay attention where I go now. Through the first dark blue that I have here. Don't make the mistake to go through the second one. Okay, now I have this. In my next step I want to go through two beads in this direction through the dark blue and through the pink. I'm taking three pink beads. I skip this one that's on my way, the central one, and I go through the following. Then I take four of those beautiful pink beads. I go through the first light blue that's on my way. And I pull. I take a dark, a white and a dark and I go in this light blue that is next to the dark blue beads. Four pink beads. Go in the first pink that I have here. Three pink beads, skip the central one, go through the following. Four again. First blue bead. Dark white dark. Go in this light blue that is next to the dark blue beads. At the petal I add four pink beads. Three pink beads. And four pink beads. Go in the first light blue that's on your way. Then dark white dark. Last blue bead. Again four pink. Three 
stripping four pink and I'm going to continue this until the end dark white dark 434 dark white dark 434 and I'll meet you here at the last step if you forget how I'm doing it you could always rewind the video see how I do it here and repeat it from this side okay meet you in a while okay guys and here I am at almost my last step of this row I take my last four beads and I go here in this pink okay now what I want to do is go in this direction through all of those beads And I'm going to take two dark beads, my earring finding and two dark beads. And what I want to do is go here in the next pink bead, in the second pink counting from the center. Okay. Now this is what I have now. And you could go and reinforce this joint here. how you could do this You can go in this direction through some beads. And then backwards through all of those here. Now you can find a place to make a knot and cut your thread. I make here a loop. I go twice through the loop I've made, I pull. Then I go through one or two beads in this direction. And I cut my thread. Okay, and now my earring is ready. Uh, if you have problems straightening this one up, this means that you used slightly different beads, although they are said to be one and the same size sometimes they differ from lot to lot or from manufacturer to manufacturer or maybe you use thicker thread in this case what you could do is to put a cotton cloth over your work and iron it and then put clear nail polish on it and in this way it will straighten up the other way is to put another row of these dark beads here between the petals to make it stay uh, in a straight line and not move around okay these were my ideas
Okay guys, so my large colorful flowers earrings are ready and if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't. In this way you will know when I make new tutorials, usually two or three times a week and you will be inspired often. You could also check description for full list of materials, other useful resources, Facebook page where you could share your beautiful designs that you did following my tutorials. And you might want to support me in PayPal or by becoming a member because a lot of work goes in these videos. The membership comes with perks that you could also check in description or at the join button under this video. Now click on the video that you see on your screens and continue watching.